next one. Okay, so choose C1 arbitrarily. So it doesn't matter how you choose the first set. Choose any point. Okay, and now, um, so then um, for J equals 2 to K, um, choose CJ um, as the um, R max um, X and X of P R I um, R J minus 1 of X. Okay, so what does this mean? So, the, um, so actually, this is a lot of algorithm. So, so what does this step mean, right? You're choosing the center, which is furthest away from any of the all centers you already have. So you're building up these centers one by one, and you always pick the one which is furthest away from your set of centers you already have. So it's very simple. And there's a way to implement this so the, the total runtime um, equals O of Kn. Um, if you're a little bit just slightly clever about how you do it. And the, and the, the, the details are in the notes spelled out pretty clearly. So this is a very simple algorithm to run. And it works, this works pretty well. It doesn't work well if you have weird outliers like this because of the definition. Um, but if you don't have weird outliers, this algorithm works very well. And it's a two approximation to this column, which is the best you could possibly do. So it's the two approximation of the K center cluster. And, it, um, and it's very, very easy to, to, uh, to write the code for the center run. And, and pretty fast too. Typically K is very small. So that it's, if K is a you know, constant, then this is a, is a linear time message. So it's a very simple, very, very uh, useful one. Okay, so, so on Wednesday we'll talk about Lloyd's algorithm for k-means clustering, and actually a kind of newer variation for k-means, which is kind of modeled after Gonzalez's algorithm, but works for k-means instead of k-center. So it'll be a bit more stable than outliers as well.